Red Rocks can turn a great concert into an unforgettable night. Red Rocks! Acoustically, it's pretty perfect. Uh, the sandstone walls on either side of the venue absorb sound, so there's not a lot of noise bouncing around. And can turn a workout into a heart-pounding experience. There's something also a little bit terrifying but gratifying about having walked up you know, nearly 200 stairs when you're at 6,500 feet. From terrifying to unforgettable, this scenic spot was a million years in the making. It's the only naturally occurring, acoustically perfect amphitheater in the world. For musicians, the chance to perform here is magical, spiritual, and emotional. A warm Red Rocks welcome, please, from Dublin, Ireland, U2. Starting with U2's video, I think that uh, Red Rocks has sort of taken on a mythology and uh, musicians and artists really do want to play here. If you look at who's played here, everybody from the Beatles and the Supremes to U2 and Ted Nugent, you know, everything does sound good here. The first concerts in the early 1900s were actually opera. Inside the Red Rocks Visitor Center, you can learn how geology comes alive at Red Rocks. Check out the list on the walls to see who's performed here. Jesse Leach and his friends are doing that. Jesse has been a Red Rocks concert goer since 1994. And your favorite concert that you've seen out here? Jack White. In the Hall of Fame, see some of the concerts from Hall of Famers like Willie Nelson, Sting, and Bonnie Raitt. And see concert memorabilia from the Police, the Beatles, and Colorado's own Big Head Todd and the Monsters. But most don't get to see this tunnel that's backstage and leads to the sound booth. And artists and band members are allowed to come back here and sign their names. And so it becomes kind of a living autograph book. Wandering through the halls backstage, the photos are a history in pop music in America. From those like John Denver who have passed on to those like Robert Plant who played a couple of decades ago and returns this year. You might be surprised how plain the dressing rooms are. You come up a cement ramp through, you know, through some rocks and end up in a place like this where the dressing room is built around the rocks. Even without the flash, it's a venue artists want to play again and again. It's, it's a great place to see a show, but it's also great for performers. Including some Colorado bands. Between the Lumineers and One Republic and uh, Flowbots and 303 and The Fray. Big Head Todd. Uh, Big Head Todd. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty substantial list. Here comes the sun. And that list now includes me. <laughs> I'm living on a prayer. Y'all are supposed to clap. Yes, you can rock Red Rocks just like music legends anytime the stage is open. Such a lovely place. Such a lovely face. Plenty of room at the Hotel California.